Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's Tableau tutorial, what I wanna cover with you is how do you get a text table to expand and collapse at the bottom of your dashboard so that you can display you know, a bunch of detailed text information without having to give up a bunch of your screen real estate and have it showing all of the time. Okay, so first of all, let's look at a situation where you might want this. So I've got a dashboard here called female life expectancy in 2012. And you can see I've got an overview by region of the world. I've got a bar chart showing um, life expectancy by country. And then I've got some additional country details, not only the life expectancy, but some GDP and population information, etc. So right now I've got this hooked up so that that top worksheet's a filter. Like if I click on Europe, it's just going to filter to the European countries. Um, so that's great. You know, so cool that that's working. Um, I have not hooked up the bar chart as a filter yet. I suppose I probably could, but then I don't want to really filter in the top section. Regardless, what I really want to have this do is set up so if I click on a single bar or if I select multiple bars, it just shows those countries in this table down below. And if nothing is selected, I want that table to just essentially disappear. Um, so my end, so I'm, so I have basically a bunch more space for the bar chart instead. So how would we do that? Um, so, so two things. Uh, first is I need to set up an action which will filter the bar, uh, take the bar selection and filter the text table with that selection. Um, and I need to set that action specifically so that that, that uh, text table goes blank when nothing is selected. And then second, I need to make it so that those worksheets can expand and contract. And how do you do that? A layout container. So let's start with the action. So I'm going to go to the dashboard drop down on my toolbar and I'm going to set up an action. Okay, so there's actually already an action here. Um, this is just that region filter, click on a circle, filters the whole dashboard. So that's fine, leave that as is. I'm gonna add a new action and this will also be a filter action. Okay, uh, but here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this my bars to text table filter. Uh, our end user is not gonna see that name, that's just for us to know what this is. Um, so I'm gonna set this up so that when you select a bar, so I set this to select, and then, uh, which one was which? It must be female life expectancy by country. That's my bar chart worksheet, okay? So I'm only gonna leave that one selected. Really important if you're gonna try and follow along or do something like this on your own, don't hit that drop down. We're doing everything within just this dashboard, so I don't wanna use the drop down for source sheets. No, 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 just deselect the sheets you don't want, leave the sheets selected you do want. So the when I make a selection in the bar chart, I want it to update the country details table. And so what I want to happen after I select, and then if I deselect, I want it to, I want that details table to go blank, or in other words, exclude all values. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a go. So say okay, say okay. So let's start by clicking on one country, Japan. Cool, it filtered that text table down below. Let's click on multiple countries. It filters it, click on the background, of the worksheet in the bars and it goes away. So great, part one accomplished. The worksheet is now um, going blank when nothing is selected. So part two is now I'm gonna get a vertical layout container from my dashboard pane and I'll just drop it next to the, um, the bar chart for now, okay? How do I know my layout container is? Uh, it's that blue border, so you can see that the blue border pop up when it's selected, as opposed to the classical gray border for a standard object. So let's start, I'm gonna get my country details table. I'm actually gonna drag that into the layout container first. Notice the blue border, not just the gray drop shadow. And then I'm gonna get my country bar chart, and I need to put this above that, but I think I did this poorly. I did this in the wrong order. So let's put the bar chart below for a second. Now I'm going to get my blank text table. Maybe I should just have something showing up. It might make this a little easier. Now I'm going to get my text table and I'm going to hover near the bottom. Again, looking for that blue border, drop it down there. So cool. Now my text table is showing up below my bars. Okay. So now what happens though, is if I deselect everything in my bar chart, how about that, huh? So the, the worksheet, the text table is expanding and contracting based on my selections in the bar chart. So two other quick little things I want to cover. Um, up first, what's up with the title? Yeah, there's not really a ton you can do about that. Um, you probably just want to hide the title. Otherwise, it just hangs out there all the time. 
Um, there are some tricks you can do, like you can create a worksheet which just has a title that shows up and disappears um, based on the user selection up above. So let's do that. Why not? Uh, if, you, if you feel like this is good enough already, you could stop the video here. Um, so the only other thing is if you notice for some reason, like, oh no, why isn't this working anymore? Here's the thing. When an object first goes into a, uh, a layout container, it's going to be dynamic height by default. But if you go manually adjust the height, now, if you notice this little pin, it was not filled in before, but it is now. So if I, if I deselect, oh, hey, select my bars, deselect, why is it not expanding and contracting anymore? Well, this pin, uh, this object, because I grabbed the bottom of the sheet and dragged it up, it's now fixed height. So if I click on that, it will unpin it and it will now be a dynamic height object once again. So how do I get a little, you know, country details title to show up? Um, so bear with me here. I'll call this my uh, country details title. Didn't plan this ahead of time. So this is all just kind of making this up as we go. Uh, I'll call this, I'll do a calculated field, country details uh, text, and then it will just say country details. Okay. So I'll hit okay. I'm going to put country details text on text in the marks card. And we need to kind of beef this up a little bit. So let's set this to entire view. Uh, let's uh, make that text bigger, you know, so I'll click on text in the Mars card, click on the ellipses, and why not? Let's make this thing, I don't know. I can't remember how big my worksheet titles were, so let's just try 15. Uh, I don't need the tooltip. Notice it's showing up there. It's kind of funky, so I can just deselect show tooltips. Click on the tooltip tab in the Mars card and then deselect the show tooltips option. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put uh, the country details worksheet uh, down by the text table there. It, it shows up with the title. It's kind of funky. The title of the sheet came with it. So I'm going to right click and deselect show title. And uh, it's, it's kind of small right now. Um, so let me just try something real quick. I'm going to go to my dashboard, drop down, select actions. And let's go ahead and edit using the bars to text table filter. So we need to make sure that's good. It is affecting the title sheet right now and the table. Um, usually Tableau actions automatically, filter actions specifically, um, automatically apply to new worksheets when they're added. So I think the only problem that I'm foreseeing right now is if we make a selection and deselect that that sheet, um, it's just not, it's not very big. So I could force it to be taller, like a fixed height sheet. Uh, it's not It's not working that great though. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try a little trick here. I'm going to put a copy of my country details text field. I'm also going to put a copy of it on the row shelf. Okay. So not only is it on text in the Mars card, it's also on the row shelf. Um, it's going to look weird at first, but bear with me. So now if I click on an object, uh, I do have something showing up there, country details. So that that's what I'm seeing. Um, see if I hide that, if I deselect and hide field label for rows, what that ends up looking like. Uh, not a deal. Okay, so maybe we go back, we keep that, and I'm just going to go ahead and bump the size of that up. So let's do some formatting and make that bigger. Why not? Who really cares what it looks like, right? So I probably want to update that so it just says country details. Uh, but now... Okay, there we go. So probably like not the most ideal setup. I'd probably want to do some more tinkering with that. But I've now got a setup where essentially a title shows up and then I deselect and the title sheet goes away along with the main worksheet. So let me just go ahead and just edit my calculated field because I'm feeling like a perfectionist right now and just set it to say country details. And, and really at this point, I don't actually need anything in here. It's be country details with back-to-back, -back, um, you know, the parentheses there or uh, quotations rather. So now if I make a selection, you know, boom, my detail sheet shows up, my little title shows up, I deselect, and that all goes away. So that was a little bit of an extra rundown on how to get a title to appear and disappear as well. Um, if you have specific tricks that you like to use to make something like this work, um, feel free to shout them out below. I've seen this done a few different ways. Um, but this is one of my favorite tricks just to pack a little bit of extra punch in that dashboard. Um, you know, without visually overwhelming um, the user. And what's nice about this is it's, you know, still selectable, still sortable. So it gives you maybe a little bit more power 
um, than you would have with just like a view and tooltip or something. So awesome. Um, thank you for following along with this video on how to add a worksheet in a, a text table, which could expand and collapse at the bottom of a dashboard. Uh, we really appreciate your support. Um, and we're looking forward to catching you on another video here on the One Number YouTube channel next week. So thanks so much. Have a good time until then. Talk to you soon.